to day 16 of Vlogmas. I am now caught up. <laughs> I am recording day 16 on day 16. Yay! <laughs> it really throws me off when I am off. Um, yes, and, and for the, the quick eyed among you, yes, my elf is still in the same place, and that's okay. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> here we go. Today, oh my gosh, today is Sunday, it is December 16th, and we had a really good quiet day today. Uh, the kids and I went to swimming this morning, like we do every Sunday, and they did really, really well. And um, then we came home, we did a little tidying up, I did some laundry, boring, boring, boring. Um, prepped and made some more candles, and oh, here comes my little one. Here it comes, here it comes. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. I'm almost done, sweetie. What? Is, what? What are these things? Oh, he's just discovered the pops. I will tell you about those in a minute. That's Ron. Oh, wait. I gave it away. That's okay. Why All is right. he falling? Oh, he's not falling. Look, he can stand. Okay, maybe. <coughs> wait, okay. There he is. He's standing. <laughs> so anyway, um... Yes, so laundry and catching up, and then my mother-in-law came over uh, with gifts for the kids because today is the third Sunday in Advent. Um, and for those of you who may be watching starting at this point, um, my in-laws come over every Sunday in Advent and bring gifts for the kids. It's something they started um, when Kira was born, and then it kind of died off for a little bit and they have resurrected it and uh, the kids are having a great time and that's really all that matters so they're having a wonderful time so they opened gifts today and spent some time with uh, Jima and that was lovely and then I went I snuck out for a bit and went to see a photo exhibit an installation by my dear dear friend Carolyn Bloom who is Bloom Handmade Studio I know you've heard me talk about her a hundred times, and it was incredible. It was absolutely unbelievable how much work she put into this. Um, she had all of her photos, and what she does is take a lot of photos of yarn in very unique ways, um, mainly with flowers. And the way her mind works is just absolutely incredible. You should definitely go over to her feed and have a look. It's just breathtaking what she does with flowers and yarn really really amazing and she has other ideas uh, I don't know I just don't know where she gets her inspiration but just absolutely beautiful and then she did this display on denim I I helped her with that along with another friend of ours Ellen who's knit by lefty and we helped her along with a few other people helped her put this together and it's out standing. It is so incredibly beautiful. She created, she recreated the, the scene of the church and the community center and the nursery school um, on this canvas that she had, on this denim, on this beautiful spread, and she did it all with fiber. I mean, she crocheted the little children and the bicycles and there's cars. And then she hid seven hearts in the thing. And as you can see, um, I took pictures, uh, I did a little video of where the hearts were. And oh my gosh, the way she put this thing together, the curtains and the pom-poms and the little kids in the boat it, and on the swing and she used the little stitch markers as the, the chains on the swing it, it was just unbelievable I really don't have any words for how outstanding this is and right now um, I believe she's been invited to or been asked to leave that installation up in the community center uh, because the nursery school children pass there every day and we'll get to see it and touch it and play with it and it's just magic I, I, I you could stare at it for hours and look at all the different things there's so much going on in this and the detail the attention to detail even the children riding the bicycles like she has one leg on either side of the bar I mean it's so well done so congratulations Carolyn absolutely incredible I'm so happy to have been a part of it and so proud of you and all of your work just amazing amazing so um, 
Yes, yeah, so I, uh, it is Sunday, I'm home with the kids, here, here, my daughter stands off to the side and waits for an invitation, come, come on, so come, come around this way, can you come around? Yeah. Okay, hey. don't bump the table, because the whole camera will shake, <laughs> there's CJ, <Hey. laughs> there's my baby, and he just happens to be wearing a St. Patrick's Day shirt today, I don't really know why, but it's very festive, Hi. and here's my Kira, <laughs> yeah. here she is. Um, what do you Since want to say? my mom is the best, and I say this in every video, or Careful, any mom. video that I'm in, I think you should always subscribe to my mom if you haven't already. Watch, 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 buddy. Uh -huh. And like all her videos, and say you're the best, because she is the <laughs> And say you're the best, because she is the best. Not just as a YouTuber and whatnot, but as a mom and... Mm. Since she since she <laughs> since she does her YouTube channel and all her Instagram and she's and she's doing all this for you guys, she's taking in a lot at, even as a mother and trying to take care of both of us while doing this, while t trying to do her, be herself. So blah 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 blah. I didn't blah, tell blah. her to say be any of this. Subscribe to my mom Thank and leave you. a nice comment. <laughs> No, no, no. Josh. Oh my Say god. Say anything mean. Okay, and okay, okay. My mom okay. Will block me. <laughs> I'll make sure of it. Okay, that came out of absolutely nowhere. <laughs> I did not tell her to say that. I didn't feed her any lines. There is no um, rolling camera behind here. Oh my gosh. Thank you, darling. I love you. I love you too. Kids are adorable. I really do love and adore them. I do. I do. Um, I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> I guess we should open yarn, you guys. Um, so here we go. I'm, re I'm really speechless right now. Hmm. Okay, okay. Day 16, Legacy 5 Arts. Let's keep going. <sighs> oh, pretty. Oh my goodness, purple and white speckliness. Look at how gorgeous that is. Just beautiful. Oh my gosh, Legacy Fiber Arts, day 16. I love it. Oh, I know I keep saying it, but I really can't wait to see all of these made into socks. And I'm starting so much earlier next year because I want a ton of these. Oh, can you just, can you just see it? Oh, so Legacy Fiber Arts, day 16. Thank you, Sue and Chelsea. Uh, let's go to a homespun house. Wait, wait. Okay, just check. <laughs> oh my. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that, you guys. This is so soft and pretty. This is almost like faded candy canes, I think. It's so Christmassy, but not. There's the back. I love this little gingerbread color in here. Look at that. I don't know, I just see these this, these colors just remind me of candy. They really, it's so beautiful. Oh, thank you, Molly. It's gorgeous, just gorgeous. Oh, so that is Homespun House. And here is, of course, our last but not least, Yarn Cafe Creations, Dragon Horde Yarn. Oh, jeez, wow. Okay, wow, I looked up the name already. This, nailed it, nailed it. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That is so, so, so amazing. He'll stay right there. Let him stay right there. Let him stay there next to Ron. Look at this, this colorway is Aragog. Aragog is the spider from the Chamber of Secrets, if you remember that. Um, the big spider that lives in the forest tell me that's not a spider in yarn that looks like a spider in a tiny skinny yarn <laughs> here comes kira because she's very curious doesn't that look like a spider in yarn yes yes she agrees <laughs> so this is aragog for day 16. thank you ladies it's amazing so let's tuck that back in there and of course we have our harry potter little pop figurines so for days eight and nine Seven and eight, so nine and ten, nine and ten. We have Ron. <laughs> Here is Ron. Perfect, perfect Ron. 
Isn't he cute? I just can't get over how cute these are. I am so happy to have these. Thank you again, Kim. I know I keep saying thank you, but thank you. Okay, in one second. Hang on, hang on. Okay. I'm going to show them the other pop socket. Yes, the other pop socket. <laughs> Hold on, Kira. I can hear that, bud. I can hear that. Uh, okay, and this one I was not expecting, and I'm so delighted. Kira's moaning myrtle. <laughs> moaning myrtle, you guys. Isn't it perfect? Look at how perfect this is. Oh my goodness. So here is Moaning Myrtle for day 10, I believe. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. So Ron and Moaning Myrtle. Can we show them blue now? Okay. And CJ wants to show you blue. Here's a baby. <laughs> baby velociraptor blue <laughs> thank you darling thank you so let's get to our question and our question is oh wait what was your question wait 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 wait. okay you know what i'm gonna pause for one second i will be right back okay so i had forgotten almost forgotten that kira wanted to do the question for today so i will get to that in one second so to answer day 15's question would you rather change history or shape the future it's kind of a no-brainer for me i would want to shape the future i hope that on some tiny, 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 minuscule little level. I may, I might be doing that right now. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that's just my ego getting out of control for about two seconds. Um, there's nothing we can do from the past, but from history, but learn from it. Um, but there's a lot we can do about our future. And I'm, I, I, without getting intense or deep or political or anything, I hope that people realize that because I definitely realized that for the sake of my children, for the sake of family and friends and everything, I would definitely want to contribute to the future. So that is my answer to that question. A little heavy, I'm sorry, okay. Right, let's lighten up. So here's Kira's question for day 16, <laughs> which I think is such a good one. Um, I will add a link to the song down below. Um, many of you know the song, The 12 Days of Christmas. There's also a parody of that song called The Twelve Pains of Christmas. So Kira, Kira's question is, would you rather listen to The Twelve Days of Christmas or The Twelve Pains of Christmas? I'm going to put a little spin on that. Would you rather live out The Twelve Days of Christmas? Or would you, or is, does your, I don't, let me rephrase. Would you, does your life more reflect The Twelve Days of Christmas or does it more reflect... The 12 Pains of Christmas. <laughs> and if you haven't listened to the song, it's hysterical. It is so funny and I think reflects the season so much better than the 12 days. So please go and listen. Does your life more reflect the 12 days of Christmas or the 12 pains of Christmas? And I will add a link to the song down below. <sighs> that is day 16, you guys. Um, it's been an amazingly wonderful weekend. There's, I think, nine days left till Christmas. Um, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So yes, nine days left. Thank Kira's pointing to my little sign. There's nine days left to Christmas. Oh my gosh, I still have some stuff to do, but I'm feeling pretty good. To get the teacher gifts and all of that stuff done is kind of huge, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. So um, hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I will see you all again tomorrow for day 17. Um, no idea where the day is going to take me, but I will take you along. So I will see you then. Happy and merry, everybody. Bye. Have a good night.